funniest pets and people. A souffle goes south. A woofer, that's a hoofer. A pom-pom pile-up. A sunk skunk. And some fresh hot popcorn. So be sure to hang on. Because we're barely getting started. It's the show that will have you sing. Stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. The St. Laughter's the best medicine for stress relief. You know why that wild moose is standing in that sprinkler? Because the man who could turn it off is still running in the opposite direction. Our style experts in Milan and Paris and New York all agree. The feathered look is so back in, darling. <laughs> String, 39 cents. Balloon, 25 cents. <laughs> Keeping your dog busy while everyone eats grilled hamburgers and hot dogs? Priceless. He just can't fall asleep. <laughs> He's tossing and turning in bed all night long. And, and he's going crazy. Oh, not the dog, the downstairs neighbor. After, like, three hours of this, neither of them could remember who had eaten that last sandwich in the first place. <laughs> sure, you want to look your best, but that takes work and time that you just don't have. Well, stop worrying and start shining. Personal goat grooming. It's more affordable than you think. <laughs> it may not be the Kentucky Derby or the Preakness, but I mean no one was going to beat Mr. Bojangles at Kick the Can. This is the cat's ultimate fantasy. He decides everything, and the people bend over backwards trying to do what he wants. After a traditional meal of roast pork, now everyone is dancing up a storm. <laughs> what do they call it? A loo ow? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> this mic is so sensitive. It can actually pick up the sound of her husband saying. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> you know what he's thinking? Too bad meat doesn't come on a cob.
There are probably a lot of questions you're asking yourself about this, but let's start with the first one. No, you do not need glasses. I guess that birthday cake must be for a surprise party. You see a dog pushing a rock out of the weeds. He sees a magical garden where the grass tastes like beef jerky and the rocks taste like liver snaps. Hey, dogs daydream too, you know. And this clip just proves it. Even baby ducks figure out a way to avoid eating their vegetables. <laughs> Pinky and Bobby just couldn't believe it, but the commercial was really true. <laughs> that extreme glue really does work. So now what? Coming up, Grin Tin Tin. And a snowmobiler hits the trails. When we return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Time to sit back and get easily amused. Why is this guy using socks to play with his ferret? That's right. He wants to avoid doing the laundry. He's crazy. Harry the hamster was, let's just say, not the Einstein of hamsters. How, how do I get in this thing? There's got to be a way. Come on, there, there must be a door here somewhere. Wait, oh, who? No? Barney really doesn't understand this game. You're not supposed to catch your tail. Go to chase it. <laughs> All right, you two can stop fighting now. You can both be in this year's cute kitty calendar. <laughs> this is a cute, gentle scene where the baby wants to touch the kitty and the kitty wants to touch the balloon. <laughs> In fact, it would all work out just fine. Except, well, kitties have claws. <laughs> this doggy's dreams of becoming a pro soccer player were about to come true. Just as soon as his head hit the pillow, and he went off to dreamy land. in here. The more spicy chicken wings you eat, the thirstier you get. You know why these kittens are playing so intensely? because they have to find a way to get tired enough to nap for 12 hours. <laughs> uh, 
I told you, I'm not fetching a stick. You fetch your own darn stick. I'm a bear, not a dog. And if you argue with me, I'm gonna eat you. Now watch as the lady sneaks up and pours a glass of water on this woman's head. But what she doesn't know is this woman has eyes in the back of her head. Unfortunately, they need glasses. And now it's time for Funniest Pets and People Unleashed. Taking acting classes was one thing, but standing still and pretending to be an acorn just made Roy feel cheap. Brian would grow up to wonder why eating corn always gave him a headache. Ay -oy. <laughs> Oh. I love you. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Wait, I think I hear someone coming. P pretend to attack me. <sighs> okay, I think they're gone now. We can't keep up this charade forever. Buster had to laugh at his own brilliance. Mr. Kirby had outrun him many times. But hiding in the mailbox finally meant he would get that mailman for sure. And our friend driving the snowmobile here has found the perfect solution for dealing with an annoying backseat driver. Party tip number 28. When planning a party, always invite an equal number of women to men. That doggy is an amazing singer. <laughs> and imagine, he's doing it without sheet music. <laughs> Coming up, a horse who's itching to run the derby. And a porker hogs the couch. When we return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. You know what laughing feels like? That's right, it feels good. Oh man, how great is life for this dog, huh? He gets to have his back scratch and eat crumbs off the carpet at the same time. Oh yeah, it doesn't get any better than this. You know why this horse is scratching himself against the fence like this? Because he doesn't know he's being videotaped. It's an historical day in the Bruder household. Yes, it's one small step for a dog, one giant leap for doggy breath. <laughs> if you've tried a whistle and you've tried yelling, and you still can't get your kids out of the pool, well, this should do the trick. 
No cats, 10-4. No cats, 10-4. This committed cockatiel is taking his shift on neighborhood cat patrol very seriously. No cats, 10-4. No cats, wait, wait, wait. Uh, false alarm, just a squirrel. Very seriously. It's great that this dog understands you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. <laughs> but it's not so great when he tries, you eat my dinner, I'll eat yours. <laughs> okay, why is this man scratching this pig's belly? Well, let's just say the pig knows about a certain husband who secretly broke his wife's favorite vase. And if this guy knows what's good for him, he'll just keep scratching. <laughs> After Rory's bath, his owner, Cheryl, would come to regret taking a phone call before toweling him off. Everyone had to agree that budget cuts really hurt the climactic waterfall scene in the Bambi sequel. In life, it's not really important if you fall down. What's important... is how fast you get back up. <laughs> First we dance, and then we laugh. This isn't Vegas. That is not the fountain at the Bellagio. And he isn't Barry Manilow making a grand entrance. But come on, a dog can dream, can't he? You can't put your finger on it, but the foreign version of Moulin Rouge kind of lost something in the translation. He's great at slow dancing. but really needs work when it comes to pinning on that corsage. <laughs> the jitterbug was fine, and so was the robot. But this guy just had to try the propeller. Everyone in class agreed Dolores was the best at bird improv. And you're a windshield wiper. Go! Shelly would practice her dance moves through the night if she had to. <laughs> but she wasn't leaving that singles cruise without meeting a guy. Coming up, the real Animal House. When you return
return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Lucky and I are going to have some breakfast. I think this guy really doesn't understand the concept of a ranch style house. See you next time.